guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. Jordan Peterson has lost his mind. You know, a lot of times um, traditional conservatives think they understand what men need for a relationship. And of course, liberal women certainly think they know what they need for relationships. But every time any of just about anybody outside of kind of our group of men talk about relationships, it seems to me they don't know what the hell they're talking about. And Jordan Peterson is a prime example. You know, he's come out against met guys going their own way before. And then he turned around and he said, no, actually, I kind of understand. But he blames men for not stepping up to what women expect out of men. And for a lot of guys, yeah, that's true. You know, you can't be living at home in, in your mom's basement at 28 years old. Uh, working at, I don't know, a Chuck E. Cheese or something or other, and think you're going to get a supermodel. That's just not realistic. But the problem too many times is they don't step beyond just the the young man's paradox of, uh, you know, not being in a good situation where they can get women. They never look at what happens to men after divorce. They never look at child custody cases. Uh, and in many cases, they don't look at the women themselves to see what the women are offering. Because that right there is a big reason why men are dating. And Jordan Peterson says, well, if you're not having success with these women, you need to adapt to become the men they want to be. Well, I got a few stories to, to, and as well as this video to tell you why I, don't, I disagree with him. And I think he's dead wrong on this. Uh, this is from a clip from uh, Logos University. I'm just going to play it through, and then we're going to talk about it. I'm sure I'll pause it to complain about something. One of the things I see problematic in the so-called manosphere online, it's because mm. all the men who are unsuccessful are clattering on about what's wrong with women. It's like, mm. by definition, there's nothing wrong with women. Right? Okay, let's pause right there. So he, he says here in the manosphere online, okay, uh, I, mean, I mean, I don't really call myself the manosphere much anymore because it's been kind of, I don't know, split apart into 50 million things and everybody says they're part of it, but they all have different views on things that are radically different. Some of them are like liberal feminists and some of them are traditional conservatives. And they both say, oh, we're, well, I'm, I'm in, the, in the men's you know, area arena. I'm going to tell you what's up. But he says here, it's because all the men who are unsuccessful uh, are clattering on about what's wrong with women. And it's like, uh, by definition, there's nothing wrong with women. I have a huge problem with that. By definition, there's nothing wrong with men then. Yes, the men that are unsuccessful with women, yes, they're going to complain about what's wrong with women. And, and I think there's nothing wrong with that. You know, if you're a guy right now and you get on a dating app, and let's say you are successful in life. Let's say you do well for yourself. Let's say you're relatively attractive. Um, that, that you got pretty good game and you're able to talk to women. You're going to tell me that when you get on there, but you're only 5'9", and she demands a six-pack and six feet tall and six figures, eight figures, seven figures, whatever it is now, and all these other things, you're, you're saying there's nothing wrong with her expectations, Jordan, that men are not adapting. Okay, let me ask you this. I'm five foot six, maybe 5'7", if I wear a thick pair of socks. Now, in, in the past, when I was a young man in my 20s, 30s, even 40s, uh, well, yeah, I, I really never had any problems dating. The difference is, though, that I knew I was at least dating my level or perhaps down. Perhaps I would give up on her looks if she had a good body, or perhaps I'd give up on having an amazing body if she was a great conversationalist and pretty, whatever, or young or whatever. There's always a sacrifice to be made. Men don't get to date up. But when you are all of a sudden now, uh, you know, in this day and age, uh, if you're a 5'7 guy, you know, you're balding perhaps. And I always use myself as an example because I, I don't mind making fun of myself. I never want to say something that, you know, Luke out there who's thinning hair and he's a, a ginger uh, who's a plumber. You know, with as many views as I get, I might actually hit on that and I wouldn't want to insult somebody. But the, the truth is, it, there's a lot wrong with women. And to say that it's, it's on men to improve themselves and to adapt to become what women want, that's what got us in the mess we're in now. That's what gets you the crazy lefties that are going out and marching and, and 
you know, all in on the LDHD TV community and they cry when a Disney story comes on or something or other instead of, you know, and they, they, they explain their feelings and they let their girlfriend sleep with some other dude that they call a bull and they're excited for it. Though That's supposedly what women want in men. And so men become that. And not only are the men unhappy, but the women don't want those men. I'll let them continue, but wrong with women right if you're not adapting yourself to women it's not the women's problem yeah, right you know, exactly. it's your problem and that's by definition and it's the same thing in relationship to your relationship to the world is that if your sacrifices aren't being rewarded the right question to ask is how am i prideful and blind not how is the world constituted in an ill-gotten manner i mean he, he may have a little bit of a point there but again if you're if you're a, I don't know, a plumber or an electrician that's successful and makes good money and you're able to afford a nice home, but you can't find a woman worthy of sharing it with you, you're going to tell me that guy's doing it wrong? Or is it the woman that's going off to get a liberal arts degree and 200000 in debt and she has two kids coming forward into a relationship and you're supposed to be the one to adapt, according to Jordan Peterson? This is the kind of stuff that just drives me nuts. Now, I know he's a clinical psychologist, but I don't know, what is he, in his 60s? You know, late 60s or whatever he is? Uh, I, I don't know how old he is. He, he's out of touch with where the world is today. You know, I haven't opened a dating app in years now, but I can tell you from the time that I was using dating apps to the time I walked around, you know, and did my 36 country backpacking, hitchhiking trip around the world, by the time I landed in Australia, things were really feminist there. And women had very high expectations. And when I landed back in the United States, over the course of the next six to 12 months, I found like I wasn't even getting matches on dating apps anymore where, when I always had previously. And the matches I got were like very overweight, old, unattractive women uh, that were well past their prime. And of course, I was hot fish uh, to them, but you know it wasn't the other way around. What happened in those eighteen months, twenty-four months that that I, you know, just a very short period of time? Women got on TikTok, women got on social media, women got on Facebook, and all these places, and they're showing these lavish lifestyles. Uh, you know, they might save up for a vacation once a year, and then they post this trip to Hawaii and said, "Oh, my man took me on this trip to Hawaii," and all of a sudden, every woman wants the man that'll take her to Hawaii. And they see the, the attractive young woman with a man that bends over backwards for her because she's young and hot and athletic. And all women say, you know, I deserve that for myself. Not realizing that if they, you know, look in the mirror, they're three times heavier, two times older. And for what? For what? So I don't think, I think he's got it exactly backwards. I think women have gone too far. I think women need to come back to where men are. And, and if they don't, then let them be. Let them go. They're, they're, they've gone crazy. This is what's so wonderful about, you know, this type of philosophy of going your own way and doing your own thing is you don't rely on the validation of women or society or anybody else to tell you what you're doing is right for yourself or right for you. Now, yes, if you're online complaining that women are awful and horrible and and in the meantime, you know, you're overweight and, and uh, you don't have good income and you don't have anything to offer a woman. Well, then, yeah, you do need to, you know, you do need to clean yourself up, get back in shape, start eating better, get a job uh, that, you know, could support a woman and you, where you can take her out on dates and do things like that. Because that is part of the, you know, the bargain that we have in this world is women should be young and attractive and thin and, or, you know, in a body shape that you like. And in the meantime, you should be able to be supportive and strong and masculine and all the things that she needs. So yeah, there is a, a group of men out there. But again, he, he kind of, he always, you know, this is what I don't like about these big grouping of everybody together is that, oh, well, if, if you're in the quote unquote manosphere and you don't have success with women, here's, you know, here's why you're a loser and you haven't adapted a lot of times the women have adapted to be completely insane. Um, and I have a good example of this, you know. Does Jordan want us to become more controlling, maybe aggressive? Uh, this is from uh, The Telegraph, and I think this is, uh, yeah, from 26th of June, which is 
2014. Okay, so a little while ago. I saw 26 June. I forgot what day of the year it was. So, okay, I'm a little late on this one. <laughs> but the point is still valid. Women are more controlling uh, and aggressive than men in relationships. Men are often thought to be the, uh, the more aggressive partner. New studies suggest this is not the case. The research found that women showed controlling behavior along with serious level of uh, threatening, intimidation, and, and harm when in a relationship more often than men. More than 1,000 young men and women were questioned about any uh, you know, struggles they had uh, physically with girlfriend or boyfriend and come to find out, yeah, it's, and I'm not going to read through the whole study because, again, it's like 10 years old now, but the whole point was women are not these delicate, wonderful flowers. Does Jordan Peterson want us to adapt to be more emotional and fight like they do? Um, and then you've got something like this one. Now, this is, a, this is from June 14th, so this is just from a day ago. Erica Jane, 51, says she's too old to remember all of her uh, partners. She said she quit counting. So she doesn't even remember how many, what her body count is. Should we adapt to this, Jordan Peterson? Should, should we accept this type of woman? To date, how about uh, a son is left uh, deeply saddened and uh, thinking about self-deletion after classmates flaunt pictures of his mother from her Only Fools account. Should we be more like them, Jordan? Should we adapt to be able to win the hearts, minds, and bodies of a woman like this? I don't think so. Um, if you if you guys are here on uh, YouTube. I'm actually going to go over these last two stories over on Locals, uh, betterbachelor.locals.com. Links down below. All you have to do is go over there and sign up. Um, I make it available, all this content's available to anybody that comes over there. Uh, I'm hoping, hoping that you come over and you're like, wow, I like this extra content. I'll become a supporter. Because so much of this stuff I can't talk on YouTube anymore because I have to drop out so much music and so many words and so many other stuff. And, and I want to do additional stuff for people that support me over there. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave it here on YouTube. Uh, again, if you're on YouTube, hit, hit us over there. Lots more to go on. I've got a couple more stories to talk about. We're going to do that on Locals. So join us over there today. Mm -hmm.